Well, this is a contraption that I came up with earlier to take to work tomorrow. But we're going to take this thing tonight and go mow a field if the sun stays up. So, got the flail mower on the green guy. Let's go. Alright, we're on our first job here with this little fella. There's an empty field next door to my dad's house. But this is the old unit. Oh, really, really similar. <laughs> These things are awesome. Alright, let's go uh, mow. I'm going to show you guys the teeth. Uh, just a flail mower. Those are kind of like brush cutter teeth knives. It uh, rotates um, the bottom forward. Let's see what we can get. All right, here's the field we're going to be mowing. Uh, let's just get her going. Not as thick yet this year, but crank her up to about 2400. The flow requirement for the head is at 2000. kind of got a it floats out there oh. what the hell was that apparently that was a rock oh yeah anyway so this thing floats out there so it makes mowing really nice and easy I didn't expect it to have the float option going on but it's actually for what I'm doing and how fast I'm knocking her out 
It's actually leaving a decent cut. And then if I want to, reverse is too tall geared on this thing, but I can do this. I can mow the trees. Anyway, that's not what we're here for, but just to let you know, I can. I don't want to mow up a tire. Tires suck. put that out in the field but uh <laughs> put it by the fence line <laughs> the green guy it uh, the model is a vaunt 528 26 horsepower kubota three cylinder i believe just got enough power hydraulically it's not underpowered that it can uh, run the flail mower our blue machine can't run this thing i wish it did but uh, there's that rock that i hit that might have been from the other day hit one too uh, we've been using this a little bit here and there but for little tree jobs this thing you could pack brush and stuff with it and then i think the coolest part about it is you know that last little bit of crap on the ground after a tree job you know all the pine needles the little tweeny sticks and stuff that take so much time and effort to pick up you could just buzz over the top of this like a little mulcher and it'll grind it up or it can cut your grass it actually did a pretty good job here I think this is just a little bit bigger than the blue guy but oh man she is a sweet little gem though works out real good for doing this kind of stuff let me show you some of the controls here it's um it's got a lock to lock the front end lock everything it turns it into like a skid steer this is your i can do this this is your extend a hoe bring her back hydraulics and then open and close and then you can run two kind of circuits on here throttle um yeah, where's that light at i don't remember about that light that one's up there no does that one even work down there 
I don't know. Anyway, pretty sweet little unit. These things are definitely starting to get popular. We've been running the blue guy for a couple years now, um, probably five or six, and it is an absolute game changer, lifesaver um, on pretty much every kind of job. They have so many different attachments to this thing, but we mowed the field with it today. I'll get some more videos doing some other stuff. There's one thing that these are super, super handy for. Moving small trailers. I think I'm near. Come on, baby. Get up here. Good. Good. No. Back up. There you go. I'd imagine that green guy has got a little bit more lifting capacity than this guy. This one's just a touch smaller. It's a different brand. I think this one might be copying that one or that one's copying this one or something. But this guy here, he'll lift up quarter cord racks of oak and put it in the back of his truck. And that's 1,500 pounds. And the machine only weighs like two. Some change. This one here weighs 3,100 pounds. Plus, it's got these. These are unnecessary for what we're doing. If you're going to get in the tree business with one of these, uh, if you're going to be on weird ground, do not get those counterweights on it. Those things suck. I'm going to be taking those off, try it out. Because it, uh, this thing will do a damn wheelie. Seems like over the last couple of years, those mini skid steer dingo stand behind track machine mini skid steers have kind of started to pop up a lot more often in the arborist tree community, tree business kind of outfits. I've ran them. I, I will admit they get some stuff done, but I will honestly say I'll take one of these articulating mini wheel loader thingamajiggies any day of the week. The Avant series, a very nice machine, smooth controls. Now, some might argue that the track stands behind mini skid steer thing is going to be a lot more stable than one of these wheel loaders. But these, they oddly, they have such a low center of gravity, they're very hard to tip over. On some steep ground side hill, these things hold their own very well. The quick disconnect system on it is, the Avant series has a little bit different quick coupler on the front, but they have a nice hydraulic mechanism so you can swap it over real quick. And we just had the brush rake on there with a hydraulic grapple on it, switched it over to the rotating log grapple. And this one actually has a secondary function plumbed already in it so that when you snap it up on there, electronics and everything are in effect. And if you want to rotate the grapple, it comes, it already has it all plumbed in. So it's super, super easy. Uh, this is my, uh, our second job with this machine. And we still, the, the hoses were backwards for the grapple, um, meaning that the close button opened the grapple versus every other um, attachment that we had for it. So it looks very rookie, and I'm just trying to take my time. But if anybody, and I'm sure you guys watching can attest, if you've been in any kind of trade job and been a member of the brush humping community, you know it's honest work. But boy, it'll kick your butt. And if you got a good climber dropping branches like this, it could take a couple guys to keep up with them, especially if they got to pack the brush any certain distance. But what I'm doing right here, these branches are, what, 20 feet long? Cedar. I got this one kicking up, trying to get me in the teeth. But I'm doing the work of a couple guys right here, and we're going to pack it around to the back side of this house, and we're going to run it with uh, the forest mulch. We're going to bring in the skid steer just to grind this stuff up. We're not even have a chipper on site. But we are running both lifts, the 72-foot CMC on this job and the Avant Lagan. I believe that's how you say it, the 62-footer. We're all just kind of shuffling back and forth, running each whatever. Who's feeling good enough to run the lift as they're running. But it's kind of long-winded little outro. We've been tied up on a big job and haven't done any of these little guys like this that required the mini arsenal. 
we got the big excavator we got skid steer we got uh, the other excavator we got the chipper we got we got all on this job right now so we're tied up pretty heavily but until next time guys uh don't get your little mini skid steer stuck and we'll see you on the next one later